Once upon a time, in the great beyond, there were seven legendary spirits who had seen that the world was going through a phase of darkness and chaos. They soon dispatched 2,222 light beings to seek out vessels in order to spread love, light, and positivity amongst all the ongoing chaos in the physical realm. The light beings known as the Super Creators were faced with a decision. They could either select vessels capable of expert communication, tactical persuasion, and divine creation, or perhaps their more simple-minded, egocentric, and monkey-like counterparts. After 17 seconds of much deliberation, they came to the conclusion, let's stick with the women. After scouring the globe, they identified the women they were looking for. And now, the next part of the mission was to gather everyone together. On the day of the gathering, only 222 women arrived. Days and nights passed, but still no one else appeared. The original 222 women looked around as they pondered where the remaining women could be. Not long after, Sabrina, one of the original women, was browsing Instagram on her iPhone 13 Pro Max when a post popped up announcing that the world was going into lockdown and no one was allowed to travel. Using her womanly instincts and highly tuned detective skills, she quickly deciphered what the issue was. Sabrina then said to the other women, Girls, I know why the 10,000 didn't make it here. They're all stuck in lockdown. The seven legendary spirits came shining down as beams of light and delivered a message to the women, foretelling them stories of the gold and silver thrones and that only the strongest of leaders could command the thrones. Nitya claims, Wow. Polly retorts, Thrones are mine, bitches! This was when the 222 women decided to take it upon themselves to battle each other in order to determine the strongest leaders to take charge and lead the women in the battle against the darkness. After what seemed like an eternity of struggle and turmoil, Miss Kaina paused and said, Girls, this isn't going to work. We have to come together and unite as one. That's the only way we can save the world. After a long nine seconds of persuasion, the 222 women agreed. From that moment on, they were known as Women Unite. 78 days after they came to this consensus, the remaining divine feminine vessels of 10,000 women had arrived. When Angela saw the 10,000 women, she asked, How did you guys get out of lockdown? A model replied, We got some contacts. However, after coming out of lockdown, Many of the 10,000 women appeared on the battlefield in a not-so-battle-ready state. Some of the women were dressed in colorful wardrobes, some in silly accessories, and some even carrying a bunch of toilet rolls. Aditi, another one of the original women, asks, Why did you bring so much toilet roll? One replied, There's no shortage here. Upon seeing this, the legendary spirits laughed and told them they were not fit for battle and would need to call upon the forgotten warriors. Suddenly, in an instant, a dark, mysterious, and ominous figure crept out of the shadows behind the women. One by one, the women began to disappear into the darkness at an increasingly alarming rate. The 10,000 women felt an unsettling feeling as they glanced around in bewilderment and soon realized that around 600 of their comrades had been abducted that was when a sinister figure appeared wearing a dark hoodie with a jersey, which had the words printed in large, bold letters, Evil Hacker. The hacker held all of the abducted women captive in chains, but not just any ordinary chains. These were called the blockchain. The blockchain's powers were exploited for wrongdoing, which is what the hacker used in order to sneak in and capture the women off guard. The hacker then proclaimed, I've captured over 600 of your mightiest women. You must pay a ransom of 0 0.01 to 1 ETH for each woman in order to guarantee their safe return. The 10,000 women sat and pondered how to handle the situation. But within moments, their hearts were touched as they were met by the unwavering support of the community members in the Wu Kingdom. The community members banded together willing to sacrifice any remaining ETH they had left in order to free the abducted women from the clutches of the evil hacker. 
They began to place their ETH on arrows and fired them at the chains that held the women captive. When all the chains were broken, the captured women were finally free and united once again. After facing such a challenging ordeal, the 10,000 women realized they would require more strength and remembered the message from the divine energies to awaken the Forgotten Warriors. In order to summon the Forgotten Warriors, the women were given a map leading to a secretive and mysterious location that held a powerful divine treasure. After a rigorous and tireless journey, the map had led them to the Forbidden City, which contained a treasure chamber filled with mystical artifacts and treasures that wield unimaginable powers. Upon opening the doors to the chamber, they first laid eyes on the glorious 222 gold thrones in which the original 222 women instinctively knew to take their place as the queens of the Wu Kingdom. After sitting on the throne, they felt the power immediately surge through them, amplifying their strength by threefold. The next part of the chamber carried the shimmering 2,000 silver thrones. They discovered that all the thrones could be used to manifest the arrival of the highest rank women for all future missions. The remaining of the 10,000 women remembered their quest to awaken the Forgotten Warriors, and so they continued to search the chamber for any more powerful artifacts that could aid their mission. It was then that they came across an arsenal of 666 mystical tridents, with summoning ability to evoke the strength of the mighty Forgotten Warriors. They were surprised to see that the tridents came with an unusually simplistic instruction manual. Girls! This looks like an IKEA manual, said Angela. The manual reveals that there are three different tridents, red, blue, and gold. The gold trident being the most powerful. It also mentioned that each trident could be wielded by up to three women at once. However, there was a special tip at the bottom of the manual, which stated that the effects of the artifacts within the treasure chamber would be amplified by three when an original woman is present. Upon seeing this tip, Nitya remarked, Oh, wow. With all of the women united and working together, they would be able to awaken all of the 22,222 forgotten warriors within a few years. After amassing their strength in numbers, they would be able to counter the forces of darkness and bring forth love, light, and positivity to create peace on Earth. Polly then says, I guess we are done now. Then suddenly, the divine energies appear from a flash of white light. As the great and powerful voices say, not quite yet. Just as the legendary spirit spoke, a mysterious time capsule emerges before the women.